Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes Show. My name as always is Jamie Hughes and today I'm going to be giving you my review of Annabelle Creation. And if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos then make sure you hit the subscribe button. And as always with my videos this review may include spoilers so you have now been warned. Annabelle Creation is a really really great horror film. It did exactly what it said on the tin. It terrified me. It was great. And there's kind of going to be two halves to this review or two sides to this review because although I don't think it was the best film, it was a really, really good horror film, if that makes any sort of sense. And the reason why it was such a good horror film is obviously because of how scary it was, because of the jump scares. And what I really liked about this movie is that the jump scares and the, the scariness it was used within the right context and it was used within storyline sense throughout most of the film. Um, I don't get me wrong, towards the early part of the movie, you know, it was kind of predictable what was going to happen. Like the first and second night, you knew something scary was going to happen. But for the most part, a lot of these jump scares did take me by surprise and I, like, I enjoyed that because it, it, it felt different and that's really it, that was a really good thing because you know there is a long lineage of these conjuring style horror films now and the fact that they could keep it somewhat fresh and interesting and finding new ways to scare people i think that was great and another testament to this movie as well as what i want to point out before i move on is that in the movie screen i was in everybody was silent throughout apart from when they were all jumping obviously from the scares but sometimes when you go and see a horror movie you know people aren't really taking it too seriously they're laughing with their friends and this cinema was like 80% full and the fact that it drew everybody silent was a real testament to this movie of how good it was for building up that tension and the horror. I really, really enjoyed the, the child actors in this movie. I think they had a lot of weight on their shoulders to carry this movie in points and I think they executed it perfectly and I can only applaud them for that because, you know, as I said, they had to carry this movie in points and to give real believable performances in a movie like that where it could have been you know it could have translated really badly on screen it didn't and they and it, it was executed perfectly i also thought the story was okay which was which was really nice to see because annabelle has kind of been just a bit part character and we haven't really known too much about her. there's always been mystery surrounding her and now literally we saw as the name states we saw how she was created literally from making the doll to then the possession of the demon of the doll and the house and i think that worked really well that story of you know the the muller sorry i forgot their names um the millers the mulligans the mulligans i think it's the mulligans the mulligans losing their daughter I think that was a really believable story, as odd as it kind of sounds to say, because it's a movie about demonic possession. But the way in which they lost their daughter and how they would go to any extent or any length to get her back just to see her one more time, um, it, it kind of resonated with me. And it worked. And it, it worked really well. It was a good enough story to build onto and roll through, you know, the whole movie. Um, there are a few things that I didn't really like about this movie and a lot of that was kind of to do with the characters. I, I felt that some of the characters were weaker than the others and I, I, although I said I enjoyed all the scares, it did feel towards the end of the film that a lot of characters and a lot of character developments rushed over just to get as many scares as they could in uh, and uh, particularly Mr. Mulligan, Annabelle's dad, I think there was a lot of scope for some really great character development with him because we saw him before Annabelle died, when Annabelle was alive, he was a really happy-go-lucky guy, um, a really family man, a, a solid member of the community, a really happy guy. And then when Annabelle was killed, you know, it's been 12 years, but uh, and grief moves in many forms. But he, you know, he was a shell of his former self. He didn't really show any emotion towards the girls, and you know, kind of deep down, he would have been loving having all that human interaction. So I think it was really poor. Like the only bit of character development we did get with him was two minutes before he died, which was a bit of a cop out. But I think they picked up the slack there with Mrs. Mulligan and having her explaining the story, I think that worked really well. Another character that personally I would have liked to see a bit more development from, but I think this one may be justified for a reason, is the nun. As in the, the, the real life the real life nun that's in the movie. Because there is a point in this movie where we see Valak, who is the nun, or the, the summoner of death, or whatever she is, from the first and second country movie, I believe. And there's a point where you see her in a picture frame in Romania, 
with the real life nun and as we all know Valek is getting her own spin-off Kundrin movie so have they kind of dropped in a little bit of plot detail there that those stories are going to intertwine and we are going to see the real life nun again in the upcoming Valak movie. I, I think that was a very good bit of of story seed sowing if it's gonna be if it's gonna be paid off so I can kind of forgive that. And yeah the the only other real things I've got to say is is just to try and back up that point of and try and get across that you know this is a really great horror movie. It served its purpose as I said it scared people. It scared me. I was in bed last night you know doing that whole thing of scaring yourself like oh someone's coming someone's going to get me you know it was it was really, really well executed horror, but there was just something off about this movie as a movie in general. I, I can't really put my finger on it. I don't know whether it's because there was so much horror, there wasn't enough room for a full story to develop. I'm not really sure, but other than that, you know, I really did enjoy Annabelle. It served its purpose. It's a great expansion of the Kundrin universe, and I can't wait to see where they're gonna go with this this cinematic universe now. As I said, we've got the Crooked Man and the Nun coming up real real soon so if you guys have seen Annabelle uh, Annabelle creation let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below and if you did enjoy this video and you want to keep up to date with all my latest movie reviews then make sure you hit that subscribe button and why not hit the like button as well and let me know that you're enjoying this content and thank you very much for watching this episode of the Jamie Hughes show I will see you in the very next episode ta -ra. Mm -hmm.